Good day, colleagues. Uh, my name is uh, Maurice Nkusi, and uh, I'm one of the members of the executive committee of the African Curriculum Association. And uh, you are all aware that uh, this association is coordinating the curriculum cluster of CESA uh, within uh, African Union. So we'll talk about other uh, clusters later on uh, to see how to collaborate. Uh, you recall that uh, four weeks ago, we had a conference, the third continental curriculum uh, conference that took place in Banjul in the Gambia. And uh, during that conference, uh, we came up with a 24 resolution and recommendation. And out of those 24 uh, resolution, we uh, extracted 19 actions. So we'll get time to discuss about uh, the outcomes of that conference. Uh, we are saying that learning is a complex journey. And uh, you know, as professionals, uh, we keep learning through research, uh, through uh, listening to other people, uh talking about or sharing the experience so learning is a very complex journey and is a complex endeavor so when we decide to learn is a big decision and as we know learning never stops there is this lifelong learning that keeps professionals to continue doing better Okay, uh, the world we are living in is really a very complex place with uh, very complex issues, challenges. For example, we are going through uh, this uh, climate change, uh, recession in different countries, poverty, uh, um, economy rest uh, restrictions that make things not really to go well and affecting education. So we have quite a number of challenges. So we are saying that to learn how to address some of these challenges and doing it alone as an individual, I think is very, very challenging. So the solution is to work together. Learning together is the key. Why? Because uh, whatever different people in a different community community uh, manage to, to, to learn, to, to address challenges, uh, we learn from their experiences. And in the process, we grow. So we are saying that learning in a community is a key. Why? Because the community, which is a group of people having a common interest, come up with solutions to improve the common goal and to keep moving together in addressing solutions. And this group of people share the experiences in order to come up with a common solution uh, to bigger challenges, to bigger pictures. So the question is, who are the community? So the community is us. Who is us? Us is those who attended the conference in the Gambia, even those who didn't attend, including your colleagues at your offices, at your work, uh, workplace, and the other colleagues that uh, you collaborate with. So these are the community. So we have a holistic ecosystem of learning community of practice, which is using the learning aspects now to ensure that the entire community come up with a specific practice to address issues or to sustain what is working already. So we are saying that learning community of practice needs the domain. So the domain is the interests all people share. We need the community. The community is us involved in what we have identified as common uh, common uh, interest and the practice that really uh, identify the way we do our things, the way we address our issues, the way we sustain what is working. So in short, we have a 
three more com uh, very important components in the concept of community of practice. We have the domain, we have the community members, and we have the practice. So we have an example for a domain, for example, to improve learners in transition to post-secondary education. We know that this is a challenge. Uh, we see uh, students uh, coming to uh, in higher education, and uh, you find that really they still having some issues to integrate themselves into that uh, community uh, across higher education. So community members is those professionals committed to a process of collective learning oriented toward achieving outcomes and improving practice. And the practice that you are talking is uh, can be investigation of key questions, problems and gaps, identification of resources and expertise, shaping of subject knowledge through professional learning, and development of new resources, processes, and methods. We'll see together what is professional learning. That is a very strong concept. Us as professionals in this sector of education, how we can learn effectively in order to improve our practices in two, to continuously uh, improve what we are doing through reflection, of our practice, evaluation of impact and outcomes, ongoing inquiry, re refinement of practice and methods to develop new resources that will help us to address the challenges we are facing. So this is what we are going to do as a community of practice. We are going to continuously improve what we are doing. Now, we are saying Learning community of practice is to work together. So we are working together as a community uh, to help or support us and give us confidence and motivation. Learning together as a community of practice help us learn and grow our skills and get better at what we do together. Very important. We do it together. Uh, learning together is a community of practice help us share our knowledge, very critical, and join up related work we are doing. So, as a community of practice, uh, we are going to see what are the challenges. So, those have been identified through the 19 actions uh, we extracted from the conference, and we are going to see how all together we can address some of them where possible. And the community, uh, the learning together as a community of practice help us scale our ways of working and share common approaches across teams. So working uh, in teams, this represents collaboration, which is one of the 21st century requirement in order to be successful in what we are doing. And the learning together as a community of practice will help us to collaborate and will help us to create better practices for everyone. As we are saying, no one should be left uh, behind. So how to fix this? How to make this possible? Technology will help us. Why technology? Is because we are in different countries. Uh, we are far away. You know, technology is breaking that geographical boundaries. So we have a technology in place that is really going to bring us together to share information, to collaborate, to networking, and to come up with some strategies to address some of the solution, the challenges that we have. So by deploying this platform, we kept in mind the digital transformation we are going through. So digital transformation is how to utilize available uh, technologies to improve the work we are doing. So what we are trying to improve now, we are trying to improve on how we can work together as a community and come up with solutions that may address the issues that we have. So one of the biggest a challenge that we have is the languages we are using. Some are speaking French, some English, 
Portuguese, Spanish, and it's difficult for these members of the, co co the community to, uh, to communicate. But using technology, this will be possible. So we break the geographical barriers and the language barriers, and this will help us to come up with an environment that will help us to move together towards Africa that we want. Thank you.